Hello and welcome back to another Bielsa Stan YouTube video and this is episode 2 of that Leeds play and today we're talking about the one and only Kasper Schmeichel. So let's go back to the 2010 and 11 season. Ken Bates was still in charge of the club. We had Simon Grayson as manager. We still had the likes of Becchio at the squad. Who else did we have at that squad? Richard Naylor was captain. We had the likes of Kiznobo still here, Becchio as I say, Mike Greller, Housen, Adam Clayton, Bradley Johnson, we brought in uh, Jake Livermore on loan. We had other players including Snodgrass, Sommer, <coughs> A.D. White, Tom Lees and Ross McCormack to name a few. But today we're talking about Mr. Kasper Schmeichel, he was the number one for this season, he was only at Leeds United for one season. Uh, when we brought him, I think he was 24, he made 40 appearances and he joined in a free, I believe, to Leeds United. And a bit about Casper Schmeichel, he, uh, had, he was part of Manchester City's youth ranks. Um, he was at Manchester City from 2006 to 2009, went on loan to the likes of Cardiff City, Coventry, Bury and Darlington. He then went to Knox County for a season where he made 43 appearances. He then came to Leeds, made 40 appearances in all competition. Um, and then obviously he moved to Leicester and the rest was history. Obviously he uh, was captain for that FA Cup and Community Shield, I think. Win for Leicester City, he won the league with Leicester City, the Premier League, and uh, he got promoted from the Championship from Leicester. So he's one of Leicester's greatest players, I would say. Um, and you could say Leeds did a howler with letting him go. Now, a bit about Schmeichel when he left. I think he wanted to stay, um, and he was shocked when uh, Leeds had agreed a fee with Leicester City for him to leave. However, he has later on said that moving to Leeds and being at Leeds United was a wrong move for him, particularly how the fans were towards him because he didn't like the band that fans gave him because of his dad, obviously his dad being the well-known Peter Schmeichel who played for the likes of Manchester City and Manchester United. So yeah, I mean, Casper, um, as I said, was here for a season. We finished seventh that season, I believe, a bit about his move at Leeds United. So obviously when he was joining Leeds, he was also linked to other clubs, including a Bundesliga and Premier League clubs. He signed a two-year deal joining on July the 1st, 2010, <clears throat> given the number one, obviously first choice. Shane Higgs was a backup that season. Um, and yeah, I mean, he played in the FA Cup match at the Emirates against Arsenal, where we drew. Um, and actually that game, Seth Fabregas said that Schmeichel should have received the match ball for his performance because he had a great performance in that game. And then... Since moving to Leicester, he had a fantastic uh, career at Leicester. As I've said, he won many trophies. I think he probably won Player of the Year there. He won Player of the Year for a Denmark player, I think, the other year. He's played in international tournaments for Denmark, including the Euros. Um, and, yeah, he's probably considered uh, Leicester's greatest keeper, one of their greatest players, as, as well as Fardy. Um, and as I say, he, he's played with world-class talent, obviously, during that season when they won the league. They had the likes of... Um, uh, they had the likes of Vardy, Mahrez, and uh, the central midfield. Uh, um, what's his name? He played for Chelsea and France. Um, Nante? I oh, forget. But yeah, um, yeah, I mean, he had a very good season. I mean... Season at Leeds, I would say, overall, he did fantastically well with Leicester. Uh, he played in Europe with Leicester as well, in the Champions League, as well as the European Conference League, where they lost against Jose Mourinho's Roma. Then last summer, so summer 2022, he joined Nice. And it was surprising uh, because his contract was terminally... Uh, was terminated by mutual consent, so he joined Nice, and then this summer he left Nice to join Anderlecht on a season. Um, I mean, he joined Anderlecht this season, so uh, yeah, he's now playing in Belgium. Um, 
which which you know what fair enough to him i mean he's had his time um in in the top leagues in the, in the premier league um and and as well as league 1 so he's obviously wanting to be number 1 in in the biggest club in belgium so that's fair enough to him he probably deserves that uh, and i think overall Leeds united made a mistake obviously selling him because he's gone to be a great keeper but yeah that's uh, the Leeds player I'll be talking about today, Kasper Schmeichel. Who remembers that season when he was here with the likes of Simon Grayson as manager and uh, Ken Bates still in charge? Let me know if you do. Let me know how you rate Kasper Schmeichel's, um, Kasper Schmeichel's uh, season at Leeds. Do you think we should have let him go or not? Please let me know in the comments below. Um... And remember to like, share, subscribe, as always. Um, remember to like, share, subscribe, as always. Check out our social media at the Bielsa Stan on Twitter, on Instagram, on TikTok. And, of course, we're on YouTube. So, remember to check us out on YouTube. The reason why I'm stalling is because I want to see that other player who played with... Kasper Schmeichel. So, yeah, I mean, is Kasper Schmeichel better than, you know, would you say he's better than the likes of Peter Schmeichel? Probably not. Peter Schmeichel. You know what? Whilst I'm talking about Kasper Schmeichel, let's talk about Peter Schmeichel, his father. Apparently, they don't talk about football that often in the household between them two. Peter Schmeichel's currently 59 years old. Wow, 59 years old. And he obviously does punditry, right? So uh, he's in the media, and that's probably where Casper will join him, probably in the media. As I say, he's played for the likes of the biggest teams, Manchester United, Villa, Manchester City. He was only at City for a season. He made 129 appearances for Denmark. He played for Sporting in Portugal, played for uh, other teams. So, yeah. He's uh he's really uh, done well. Obviously, uh, Peter was a better keeper, French Michael, but two top goalkeepers in their in their time. So yeah, that's really it for today's video. As I say, remember to check us out on social media, and I'll catch you later.